Irrespective of the fact whether you're a veteran advertiser or you're a noob uh, to Google Ads, I'm pretty sure all of us understand what conversion tracking means. And conversion tracking basically is tracking a desired action that you want a user to perform on your website. It could be a sale, it could be a sign up, it could be a lead, or it could just be viewing a particular page by your audience or your user base. Now, when this happens through Google Ads, Every time this activity happens, Google starts tracking this as a conversion, meaning a user just became your converted user customer most of the times. Now, thinking about it and, and delving a little deep into this, let, let's take an example. Imagine that I'm somebody who sells luxury cars online and there is zero probability that anybody would book a luxury car online uh, just from a website. Now, if I, if, you, if I am promoting an ad for my luxury car that's in the market, and if you start looking at that, and then let's say that you, know, you want to you search for luxury cars online, and my ad started showing in the first position on Google, uh, you would click on it, check, and if you're interested, maybe you would sign up saying that you're interested and you would want a call back from me. But the chances that you would go ahead and make a purchase for a luxury car online is, is highly unreasonable and it doesn't happen. So in those cases, what happens? Uh, are you a converted user or are you just a user who just clicked on my ad? Now, if you fill in this form and register yourself as a lead, that does not mean that you have purchased the car or you're, or you're a sale or you're a converted customer for me. So in these cases, you're a lead, but not a customer yet. Now, the sales team gets back to you, they call you and you make uh, a purchase. Now the car is officially yours now. Now, when you've made a purchase, this, was a transaction that was that did not happen on Google or it did not happen online. It happened at the store. So this is considered to be an offline conversion. Now, until so far, until now, what used to happen is you were able to upload these offline sales onto your Google AdWords so that you have a, you have a fair uh, idea of how many conversions you're getting and not every lead becomes a customer. So now you could upload these details offline just to make sure uh, how many leads actually converted. Now going forward, what happens is Google has given you a functionality where the data from your CRM can be pulled automatically by uh, Google Ads and you, can, you will be able to directly upload these inf this information from your CRM onto your Google Ads through something called as Zapier. Now Zapier lets you integrate your Google Ads data and your CRM data so that you can measure, I mean, this data automatically gets uploaded onto your Google Ads. Now, ask me why. This ensures the quality of your leads are taken care of. Now, this gives you enough information uh, to understand the quality of your leads, not just the number of leads that are coming in. Remember, not every converted lead becomes a customer. So if you really want to understand the quality of your leads that's coming through Google, you upload this data as effortlessly as possible. And going forward, this is automatically done via Zapier, where your, your data from CRM gets automatically up, uploaded onto the Google Ads offline conversions data. Stay tuned for another video where I show you how this is done step by step. Thank you so much. This is Casey signing off. Cheers, guys.